zippity doo -da. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Um, as you can see here behind me, I'm hanging out here uh, on this uh, nice little swing here, hanging out here at the Polynesian Resort here in Walt Disney World. I'll try not to swing too much because there's that little squeaky sound. Uh, but what we're going to do in this section is we're going to talk about your traffic. And what you've done so far is you've gotten started with the tools to be able to adapt to today's new economy. One of those tools is your blogging system. So as we've talked about before is when you're doing blogging, not all advertising is created equal. Uh, blogging is one of the most effective tools that you can use. But the downside of it, you might say, is that it's going to take a little bit of time for you to start getting traffic. The way that I like to look at this is gardening. Um, you know, you go out and plant your, your crops and you don't come out the very next day and reap your harvest, do you? It's going to take a little bit of time and you're going to have to cultivate it. Well, if you're using these tools, if you've gotten started with blogging, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, you have to start blogging, but you also have to start cultivating it before Google is going to start sending you some traffic. So uh, what we're going to do in this section is, is we're going to be able to use some of the tools that we have available for you to start sending traffic to your blogs and to your different marketing hubs that you have. And that way you can start get generating traffic right now here today. So by the end of today, you can start going ahead and generating sales right now, right here today by using the, the tools that we have provided you here. So, um, what, but when it comes down to advertising, this is where a lot of business owners get very overwhelmed uh, because there's so much things out there that we have in the marketplace today to, to be able to advertise. Um, it's not 1960 anymore, is it? Like the Mad Men days. You know, of course, back then we had print, TV, uh, and, and radio. And so now we got so much other stuff. We got online, we got offline, and just look at the online space. Uh, we have pay per click advertising, we got in stream videos, we got social media, we got video sharing sites, we got article we have marketing, we got uh, Pinterest and Instagram, and the list goes on. And so, because there's so much stuff out there today, that's why it has gotten so overwhelming. Now again, not all advertising is created equal, so we want to focus on the things that are going to generate us the best results. Now if you look down on the page below, you'll see a guy by the name of Frank Kern. And what he does is he, he, he's supposedly called as an internet marketer. And yes, he does make money online, but he also makes money in the offline world through, through direct mail. So he'll use the internet. Uh, to capture leads and then he'll send you a direct mail piece where he might upsell you to some of his other products and services. So what a lot of people do though when it comes down to the internet because there so, is so much stuff is they want to get good at everything and he doesn't do that. Um, just one campaign that he did within a few day time period he generated over 21 million dollars in sales. Uh, again just over a few days and there's uh, there's only about four different things that he does so he does joint ventures and that's how he originally started off so I'll show you how to do that um, and that's basically uh, free advertising but only paying for after you get a result I guess is the best way that you could explain it so he still has to pay for the traffic but he only pays for it after he has has made the sales so that's one of the things that he's that's how he started off okay he's also gone into pay-per-click advertising through Google uh, Facebook and then he also does it on LinkedIn and then he does direct mail pieces and then he here recently he's only started using the phone so uh, again, there's a lot of different things that you can do. So what we, what we wanna do is we wanna find one thing that we wanna start off with. And then from there, we can progress it to some of these different things. Okay, so uh, you know, look down on the page, you'll start off with one, go move on to two different things, three different things, and there's a number of different things that you can do. But if you also look down on the page, um, you'll also see e each one of these tools is ranked by um, a, a grading system. Okay, now the first one of these is the simplicity. How simple is it? You know, many experts say that the number one fear that people have is, is public speaking. And so when it comes down to some of this marketing stuff, you have to get on the phone, you have to talk to people, uh, you might have to get up and do presentations in front of people. Um, that's uncomfortable for, for people. Another way that it may be 
uncomfortable for you is, um, you know, if you have to spend enough money in advertising to get the type of results. So when we have to invest in ourselves, that's uncomfortable. That's also a little scary. So as you'll notice, uh, it's all graded on a on a on a uh, comfort level from one to ten. Now the next area is the simplicity level. So how simple is it? There's a lot of things that can cause the uh, cause it to be difficult. Technology, not understanding technology, um, but you also notice that that is on a grading system from about one to ten as well. And then finally, the effectiveness level, and that's going to be graded on on a scale of one to ten. And as you've heard me say before, is that not all marketing is created equal. Now what you're going to notice is the less comfortable something is, the higher the effectiveness is. So what a lot of people want to do is they just want to stick with something that's that's simple. And that's not the way that the world works. You know, if it, look at lifting weights as an example. Uh, the easier it is to lift, let's say you, you lifted 10 pounds for six months and you did a hundred reps of it, you know, how much weight, how much muscle would you gain? Uh, you're not going to gain that much muscle if, if really any, any muscle, right? Um, however, if you're lifting, you know, a hundred pounds and you're doing 10 reps of that a day for the next six months, look at how much your muscles are going to gain too. So here too, we have to do the same thing. We have to grow our marking muscle. We have to uh, do things that are not necessarily comfortable, but that's why you have a 1% and the 99%. Uh, the 1% are willing to do things that the 99% are not. So uh, one of the things that Mark here now says is that the, the, the less the, or let's say the, the more willing you are to do something that the vast majority of people are not willing to do, the more those who are willing to do that will get paid. Take for instance, one of my favorite methods is the telephone. It is the most effective. It's not necessarily the most comfortable, but it is the most effective. So uh, when we do that, we can just spend a couple of hours doing it. Most people won't do that, and we understand that. But the, those people who do it, those are the ones that make the big book bucks on this. At least you'll be in the 10 per, you might not be in the uh, necessarily in the 1%, but you will be in the top 10%. And even using the telephone, it's really not that difficult to be in the top 1% of income earners as well. So um, again, in order to, to get the results that we want, we have to do things that most people would not do. That's why you're here. That's why you're in business. You are willing to do something that the vast majority of people aren't willing to do. So if you look down on the page below, you'll see all the different resources. You'll see all the different advertising methods. And just kind of pick and choose which one that you want to use. Um, we, uh, again, it's broken down into beginners, intermediate, and advanced strategies. Uh, but look at it. Do you want to do something that's simple that you're going to have to work a lot of hours doing? Or would you like to focus, do what is called as concentrated energy? Do something that's going to be very, very effective, and that way you won't have to spend that much time doing it. Uh, again, that's why I say the telephone and speaking with people is very effective. But, but you can't really do that just in it, on its own. You do you, to to really increase the effectiveness. That's why we're we're um, combining it with email, internet marketing, social media, uh, direct mail, uh, text message, mobile marketing, and all the the tools that we have available for you to be able to adapt to today's new economy. But I do hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye bye now.